once the final whistle blew, I threw my hands up in the air and just let a big roar out. To be honest with you, and then I met uh, I met a few of the boys and we were just we were in a huddle and a guard came over to me and he just he kind of grabbed me, just pointed pointed me in the direction of my father and I just saw him. I just ran to him and it's gonna you know it's probably just a pure father son moment like every every father and son would have had it during the week. Sometime it's just I just had it right lucky enough to have it after the game, and our emotions just you know they they ran high and we let it all out and. As they noticed, noted that you know my, my grandfather died this year, and that's what we were chatting about, and it was just that we that he'd be so proud of us, and and it was, it was a very proud moment, something that love love long in our, my memory, and probably in both of our memories. From a young age, you're you're, all, you're always known as Martin McHugh's son, and uh, you know people people you're you're along with daddy, and he was saying, are you going to be as good as your father? You know, are you going to be play as play as well as him, and all this. But you know, it's something I had to love, love with coming up, coming, coming up through the, through the ranks, and something I dealt with, and I had to deal with. And but I think that you know, those last number of years now, and I kind of, I've made my own name for myself. And as um, we you know, we, we go out in the street now, and like people just know me as you know, Martin McHugh and Martin McHugh. There's no, there's no word about father and son be honest with you. Nearly just maybe by the, the sense of where everybody's on about the photograph after the match. But you know, by that, you know, it's just we're we're, we're our own people now. And as I said, it's something we I had to deal with growing up, growing up. But you know, I, I, it was a pleasure. Growing up, you know, being in the light of Martin McHugh. The support in Donegal is immense. Like even last year when we won the first for first uh, first Ulster in in, uh, in 19 years, we went back to Donegal Town that night, and it was, it was, there was maybe 20,000 people. And even, again this year, it was probably even more so because maybe the, the manner we won it, you know, we won it more comfortably. Uh, but the, the support the last, the last three games against Kerry, Cork, and and and, and against Mayo, like, it was a joy for every player. You ask any player that probably the proudest moment of their life was walking around the field, you know, hand in hand with all the players, looking up and seeing the joyous faces of every Donegal Donegal person, and just looking down at you and smiling and just singing every song's going, and it was, like it was a really proud moment for every 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 member of the team. We've enjoyed the last few weeks now, and it's it's it's, it's going to be back. You know, there's going to be gym work now to be done in the next next few months, and uh, after that, it's it, as I said, it's going to be into it's, it's going to be into McKenna Cup and, and league format, which which you know our, our main aim at the minute is probably to stay up and make sure we we retain our retain our place in Division One. And that's what Jim and Jim and Roy is probably going to be focused on, and Tyrone, like you know, they're they're you know they're probably one of the toughest games we had all year uh, that day in Clonus, where the, where they nearly pepped us at the end of the goal, but. Um, they're going to be on all guns blazing, you know, um, and like, you know, they're they're a very young team. They've 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 a few few experienced boys in the team, but the few young boys are coming in. They're really hungry, and so we have to match that hunger. So Jim and Rory's going to have to have us really ready for the for, for the game, and I think I think they will, and we'll just be prepared prepared to do whatever we have to do.